August 2023 was one of the craziest heat waves I've ever experienced. The intense temperature was exhausting to endure. Yet I made the journey back to South Louisiana to finalize the sale of my property and to say farewell to the place where my beloved wife and I spent 22 years together, homesteading and learning about primal conscious living, loving and dying. Though she has been gone for over four years now, it still feels as though she's nearby, watching from the other shore. And as I go through the motions, I'm rebuilding a new life on my own. It has been several months since I've been here. This two and a half acre piece of property has now been on the market for a little more than four months. It's a primal habitat without a septic system or any other modern amenities like a washer or a dryer or a dishwasher. Yet it does have a well, a rainwater cistern, berries and fruit trees. I lived a wonderful, abundant life here for over two decades. It was here that she and I wrote many inspiring articles. We did radio interviews and taught workshops on primal conscious living. We even owned a small sourdough bread business with a handmade clay oven that we built ourselves. And we worked on and we learned about the benefits of sacred relationship through dialectic communication and white Tantra. Over the course of the six days that I was here, I had to address a lot of maintenance issues. It was obvious there was so much that needed to be done. The grass was weedy and dry, and I had to mow and rake. There were so many fallen sticks and limbs to clean up. I spent the first couple of days burning and cleaning Since the place has been abandoned for over three years, there were so many things that needed to be fixed. Most importantly was the well tank, which had sprung a leak. There were also some broken piping from a freeze, and these needed to be replaced. The windows and the floor required a thorough cleaning as well. I had to replace the front steps to the porch, and this took quite a bit longer than I anticipated. I found quite a few rotted boards that just needed to be replaced.
The original cabin is an eight-sided room, and there was some settling. Therefore, the front door needed to be modified and repainted. While I was here, I tried to take some leisure time to reminisce about the many years that we explored and learned to live an authentic life. I've often concluded that Earth Star was my true education because it was here I learned real practical skills that have enabled me to remain healthy and debt-free. Though the daytime temperatures were insanely hot, it was manageable by dousing myself with cold water. I found that this would lower my body temperature enough to keep on working Even on the roof, there was some patching that needed to be done. Unfortunately, I ended up getting a chemical burn on my foot from exposure to mineral spirits. It got on my shoes and saturated into my socks. I had to rinse my foot with running cold water for several minutes, but I didn't have anything to treat it with except some homemade clarified butter or ghee, which did help soothe the burning pain and it kept the skin from peeling off completely. The work pressed on On the third day, the new buyers came out to visit. It was awesome meeting them and I liked them very much. Two young women are purchasing the property. It was clearly evident when I met them that they value the vision and simple lifestyle that my wife and I created here. I felt so much gratitude to see how excited they are about continuing the legacy of Earth Star, growing flowers, creating art, and maintaining the wild ambience of the acreage. We enjoyed a delightful visit, and my heart was grateful to know that the right people are going to take care of this place. During my time here, I learned a valuable spiritual centering technique 
which I will be discussing in my second upcoming book, hopefully to be published in the fall of 2023. I'd like to share this technique here. It's something that can en enable a person to manage not only anxiety, but mental and emotional struggles. The technique works by pressing on specific energy centers on the body, offering a kind of triggering anchor, which can be accessed whenever needed. This process involves focusing one's attention on the area two inches behind the navel point. It is the center of the body, or what we call the one point. While placing your attention on the one point, begin by pressing your fingers on the spot between the brows and saying three times, go to silence, go to silence, go to silence. Next, press directly on the navel and repeat, go to center, go to center, go to center. And finally, press on the grief spot, which is the tender point on the breastbone between the nipples, and repeat, go to distance, go to distance, go to distance. After you've concluded this, spend a few minutes remaining still and allow your mind body and heart to settle into a quiet state of receptive calmness. It takes practice and repetition to experience the profound results of this practice. And I'll cover this more in future videos. This technique enabled me to get through the hard work and endure the oppressive heat, but it was remarkable. Over the next few days, after I finished all the projects that I came here to do, it was time to return to the Ozarks. It became a time of self-reflection. I walked around the property for quite a while, absorbing and thanking the spirit of the land that nurtured me for so many years. It brought appreciation into my awareness for the life I lived here on this sacred land. Yet, when it was time to leave, there was no sadness. It was just a feeling of being ready to embrace a new phase of my life. Learning, discovering, traveling and sharing the practical and spiritual insights that are yet to come.
Thank you for joining me on this adventure in primal conscious exploration. And thanks for watching.